What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 in another Chaos 1 Mastery build. Uh, as you see here we are on the throne room and this one's a little bit tricky as uh, you can't do any auras, any nodes, and no defenses are destroyed. So basically as far as ground trapping goes you can only use traps themselves and depending on how the defenses are classified in my opinion one of the strongest trap builders right now is without a doubt the dryad so uh, we're gonna go dryad heavy on this build and let's go ahead and get it started we have no other limitations so there's no speed requirements um, nothing else really it's just Surviving it, uh, no auras, no nodes, and nothing destroyed, so it's pretty much straightforward on this one. So let's go ahead and build it out. I'm going to go with a wall, another wall, and then let's start getting a little dryad action going. Now, uh, on my walls, I am using power pylons, spark, sharpened spikes, and fortification. Uh, power pylons not really necessary as I'm not putting anything else close to it. However, you guys know I'm just lazy as can be and don't feel like swapping shards. So I'm going to just leave that one in there. And then on Leafy, we're going to go World Treatment Bufferson, Deadly Strikes, and Fortification on the Trees. We're going to go Pretty Bee Heavy with Vampiric Empowerment, Power Transfer, and Defense Critical Strike. Uh, I'm also going to DPS on Leafy and that should help out quite a bit so let's go ahead and get it all set up here I'm not really sure exactly how much DU we do have but let's start off with four B's essentially on each lane now uh, I am going to do a turtle build here so we will have flyers and in light of that I'm going to go ahead and throw down a sky guard tower with defense critical strike power transfer and deadly strikes now uh, remember there's lots of different ways to make this happen this is just how I'm choosing to do it um, as I do love going the crit route and crit is of course a very powerful thing in the game so um, that's why I'm choosing this direction however if you don't have these exact shards there are different ways to make it work uh, destruction vampiric empowerment uh, defense rate those are all very very strong shards in chaos one so we've got 600 du left which is going to be 20 more bees that's pretty darn incredible in fact i think i may even end up putting some over at one back up on the south side or back down on the south side i should say as i was not expecting to have quite this much left over now some slimes would be pretty darn nice however i don't have my slimes adjusted to be friendly in these chaos one maps so i'm just going to stick with bees Wow, we've got a lot left over. Let's go, uh... And that's going to leave three more. Jeez! You know what? What do we got on the Nimbus? Maybe I'll throw a Nimbus in just for flavor. Oh, I actually do have the Nimbus set up, so good to go there. I'm going to slap a Nimbus just right in the middle and let it do its thing. Let me see what kind of range are we going to get out of it. It's not great, but not terrible either. Let's uh, go ahead and get start up. And no time restriction on this one, so that's good. We can completely load up with stars in between waves, and that will help ease some of the pain here. And that should get us. Let's go ahead and get it moving. Let's get our extra bees out for staying in corrupt form. Now, of course, uh, for those of you who don't know, that was bugged and is now fixed. So, uh, very nice to see that working as intended again. And you, you see, the bees are just mean. Uh, there's a reason Nicolas Cage hates them so much, as they are just beastly, no doubt about it. And full of bad puns. So, always look for an opportunity... <laughs> To use lots and lots of bad bee puns when you're playing around with your hornet's nest. Better get back over to my stars there or I'm gonna lose my extra bees. 
Oop, am I out of stars? Or no, there they are. So we're looking pretty good. They're actually kind of getting the job done. Now, of course, uh, with bosses, I am using the, uh, the Corrupt Starfall build, and it's just super, super powerful. So I don't want to waste... I want to be able to stay in corrupt form as long as possible, so I'm not using a whole lot of my abilities until I need to. And right now, I just don't need to, so... I'm trying to make it last all the way through. Actually, now would be a good time to slap down some more stars. And then get those bees pumping it out again. They are mean. They are definitely mean. In fact, it's debatable on... Like, when Omni and I went through and got our uh, number one spot on the old uh, Mastery Leaderboard race, we didn't use the Dryad very often. However, the Dryad's strong. I mean, it's in a very, very good way right now. So it's kind of difficult not to use her, to be honest. Just really, really good. And as you see, nothing, nothing is approaching my walls at all. A couple of those shieldies got in there last minute. Now, uh, of course, as the waves progress, that will that will uh, change. <laughs> Stuff is gonna start pushing eventually, no doubt about it. Now let's go ahead and just try to get all of these bees upgraded one notch. Uh, since the walls aren't really taking any damage yet, I'm gonna leave those alone for now. I'm only going four per lane on this end of the map, just because the lanes are so close. There's quite a bit of lane sharing going on there, so it actually is more like there's actually eight there, even though there's technically just four per lane. You know what, let's just go ahead and get an up on that Sky Guard too, just in case any of those flyers get anywhere near remotely close. And then we'll go two upgrades on each, each of these sets of bees here. We'll get loaded back up on stars. One more. Let's just keep them flowing here. Many stars. The more stars, the merrier. You know what I'm saying? They stay on the map for a minute, so they will last a little while. Oh, yeah. Those bees are just mean. Unbelievable. They do a fantastic job. Uh, of course, a couple of updates ago, the Dryad was changed, and she kind of became the flavor of the month a little bit. You see quite a few Dryad builds uh, rolling around in public matches. And it's for good reason. She's just a mean girl. Now, part of that, too, was uh, the bees were slightly bugged uh, prior to this last update where the your extra bee was staying even when the dryad wasn't out. And uh, that's been fixed, so that's a good thing. Look at that ogre just melt. Holy smokes. Let's go ahead and uh, star up again. I kind of missed my, uh, my pull there. I maybe should have went with Mana Capacitor. I wonder if Mana Capacitor would have worked. I think so. A little Mana Capacitor in the headpiece would have went a long way. And in fact, the Dryad is a solid option, really, uh, for the next tier as well. So, I mean, there's a strong chance I may actually think about playing Dryad as DPS through the Chaos 2 Masteries. I probably won't. I just love playing the Monk. The Dryad, of course, has still got the double jump and the flying, which is one up on the Monk. But I just absolutely love the Monk. It's just such a fun hero to play. No more stars left, but no more mobs left either, so it is all good. And there we go. So wave three incoming here. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the bees on the map upgraded to tier two. And then maybe think about doing something with the walls. In fact, let's just go ahead and get some, some wall upgrades in play. 
Oops. Wrong B. One B got uh, double juiced. Oh, another one did too. Oh, and another one. Good gosh. <laughs> did I miss any of them? Nope. Okay. Well, they ended up getting a little bit more uh, ability, or, or pardon me, defense mana than I was expecting to give them. But I'm sure it'll be okay. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, is this Nimbus getting much action in? 5 million damage done. Let's look at it compared to a B. Oh, it's actually getting in a nice chunk of damage, so... Let's go ahead and keep up in that Dryad and get... Uh, or, pardon me, that Nimbus. And get it all sorts of beastly. And we're all started up and ready to go. Let's make it happen. A couple of more uh, Nimbi here. May have been a good move. May have indeed. Now we looking on that side. That side's holding strong. Now, of course, now that I said that, that will be the side that goes out on me. And we got an ogre coming from right here, actually. A dead ogre. Doesn't take much. And then we're going to have a siege roller, which is just going to get just rocked as soon as it hooks its way out there. And it looks like the siege is coming out, so I'll go on over and say hi here. Just amazing. Dryad is just such a beast. Almost feels like cheating. Plus, uh, she's got the tanky factor. Um, of course, she can pop out a corrupt form, and the dryad becomes dang near unkillable. Big old pack coming out there. I don't want to waste too much of my uh, my star juice here. But big old pack makes a push, so why not? We'll slap a few of them down. And then nothing but flyers after that. The bees should help with the flyers. The Nimbus is getting it done. Oh, the bees aren't attacking the flyers at all? Those are. The bees still have a little work uh, that need to be done with the AI, I think. There's quite a bit of derpy bees, quite frequently, to be honest with you. Where they just hang out and don't do anything. And that's no good, but I'm confident that uh, eventually it will get all dialed in. The Dryad potentially has got some nice changes coming to her in the future. None of that's been confirmed, it's just kind of uh, theory crafting at the moment. But there's a very interesting Dryad forum post that's stickied up to the top with some potential changes to what could happen with the Dryad in the future. Let's see, let's just go like that. Wave 4 incoming now. This one, actually, the Dryad just made it... You know, I hate to say it, but just dang near made it easy. Get it rolling here. I accidentally pick those stars up all the time when I don't need them yet, so... Same thing here, I'm just going to kind of chillax. I don't want to use too many of my abilities as... I want to keep that third B out all the time. And, uh, of course, you have to stay in corrupt form for that to happen. So I'll be doing more melee, I think, than anything. And throwing kitty cats, of course. Three. 
350 mobs left. Quite, uh, quite a few mobs on Throne Room. Let me go ahead and reload up with bees, even or with stars. Pardon me, even I don't uh, don't quite need it yet. It looks like that roller's getting close enough where I should go give it some attention. And, oh my gosh, it just destroys rollers. Just beastly. It's so hard not to just start spamming stars everywhere, but I really do want to rely on that hornet's nest. Some big packs come rolling in right at the end here, of course. Actually, we got plenty of stars. I'm gonna assist these packs a little. Look at them just melt. Wow. Small group coming over here. I'm not even gonna bother wasting a, wasting a star on this. And 130 mobs left. Looks like a nice chunk of them are gonna be in this pack right here. So mean. All right, let's get started back up. We got Gribs coming out. He's actually Gribs is going to be up top here. It appears. Gribs moves uh, a little quicker than Rollers. Good enough, the bees will finish him off. Let me go ahead and, uh, well, I guess I've got stars right here. I might as well just do it. And there we go. And then for wave five here, I'm just gonna slam some stuff around. Just gonna, you know, a few ups here, a few ups there. We do have a big flyer pack at the end, so one more up there, and let's get that Nimbus all the way to full. What else? What else? We've got 300 left. Let's just go one upgrade on each side on this this end. Uh, a few wall repairs are in order. And here we go. We got a little shieldy coming. Where is that shieldy at? Up top there, it looks like. Or nope, nope. Shieldy's over here. Put a hurting on that guy real quick. Just because. Come on, stars! Ooh, hoo -hoo, so close. Not that it matters, but... Actually, now's an opportunity to restart the place here. So, we've got an ogre coming and a siege roller. Looks like it for the moment. Get uh, get this siege out of the way first, just because it's so quick and painless on the dryad. Just mean, mean, mean. Out of juice. Can't have that. And one more star to close the deal there. Now 250 mobs left. I don't think I'm going to need this extra stack of stars, but I will take it.
Got a nice little grouping of them over here. Just one corrupt starfall, and you just you see just a massive explosion. Just crazy. Down to 121 now. Let's go ahead and get a few more stars while we're waiting. And then Tuskar, the last one. And a whole bunch of flyers. So Tuskar will be easy mode. And then those flyers should just get handled. Yeah, the combination, the Nimbus, the bees, everything. It's just making light work of them. And there we go. So that was a quick look at the throne room and Chaos One Mastery and how to get five stars solo. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, click that like button and please subscribe. I'm gonna have every single mastery map with a build guide of what kind of my go-to build is on how to get it done. So thank you again and I will see you next time around. Take it easy. Thank you.